I, Professor Ayar Kazi from IT Department, Silver Oak University. Dear students, today we will discuss regarding Swing in Java. With the use of Java programming language, we can able to make a different different kind of application like console application, Windows application, web application, etc. Let us discuss about console application. Console application is a text-based application. There is no graphical interface. There is no any graphics used while developing a console application. Console application is a simply run on black screen like C and C++ program. So there is no graphic use while developing such kind of application. And basically, if your purpose is to implement on the object-oriented funda, then you can go through the console application. Next, Windows application. Windows application is also called a desktop application. It is a GUI based application. If you want to implement some graphics in your applications, if you want to use some controls like a label, text box, drop down list, checkbox, radio button, then you can use a window application. So window application is a GUI based application. If you want, let's say for example, if you want to implement a login control functionality, if you want to impl implement registration page, then go through the Windows application. And Swing is used to uh, Swing is used for GUI based window application. In Java programming language, if you want to implement GUI based Windows application, then Swing is used for that. So with the use of Swing, we can able to create, we can able to implement GUI based desktop application in Java. Next, web application. Web application is also GUI based application. But the beauty of the web application is that once you implement a web application, that application can be accessible from anywhere through internet from the URL. So up to now, let me summarize the Swing in Java programming language. Swing is used to implement a GUI based application. Swing is used to implement GUI based desktop application in Java. So if you want to implement GUI based desktop application, then Swing will be used. Now let us uh, let us go through. Uh, now let us discuss. Swing in a detail. So as discussed, if you want to do GUI graphical user interface based programming with GUI based programming, then Swing will be used. If you want to use some controls, if you want to implement some control like text box, buttons, radio buttons, drop down list. If you want to implement graphical functionality like login control, registration page, then Swing will be used. Now what is GUI? So user interact with the application through some graphical icons like text box, button, drop down, scroll bar. So in your application, user inter uh, if user interact with your application through some graphical icons, some gra controls, that's the kind of application is called a GUI based application. Input and output is also in the form of some controls. So in GUI based application, input and output also in the form of some controls. Let's say for example, if you want to input something, so there is a text box used. For selection purpose, drop down list is used. And for output purpose, you can uh, display the image as an output. You can display the output from uh, in with the use of label controls. So GUI, GUI based application input and output is also in the form of some controls, means graphics. That is the GUI based application. So Swing is used to implement this GUI based application in Java. <clears throat> now what is Swing? 
the swing is lightweight gui toolkit package which has a wide variety of widget or you can say components for developing window based application so swing in a java programming language swing, uh, swing provide a package through which we can able to create a gui based application the swing provide a package to implement gui based desktop application in a java programming language so in swing package in swing toolkits there are wide varieties of components are available once you implement once you import this swing package in your application in your code in java program there are lots of components are used for that so once you import a swing package then you are you can able to use text box control label controls drop down list radio button checkbox so basically swing is a package so if you want to implement gui based application so you need to import this swing package in your java code so once you import this swing package in your java code you can easily able to create a gui based windows application so it is used for creating a window based application as discussed is also called a desktop application it includes components like label text box button drop down scroll bar and lots of many other con useful controls so this is the example with the use of swing components you can create a gui based desktop application you can uh, implement such kind of functionality like login controls login functionality you can able to create a registration page you can able to create inventory kind of windows you can uh, you can able to create a registration page as well as uh, for uh, student information you can able to create a if you want to add new students in your portal then that kind of functionality is add edit update delete functionality also use so these are the example of a uh, gui based desktop application so so with the use of swing you can uh, easily create that kind of application java swing is a part of java foundation class so graphical framework for building a java based ui the java foundation class so if you want to implement a gui based applications so for that a uh, graphical framework already set up for a java programming language that is a java foundation class so swing is a part of this java foundation class that belongs a swing package is belongs to java foundation class that is the graphical framework for gui based application now earlier awt was used for gui based programming in java so before swing introduced awt is used was used for a gui based programming but some limitations uh, there are some limitation in awt so in next slide we will discuss a uh, comparison between awt and swing why swing is better as compared to the awt what are the some limitation that uh, in awt so let us discuss about comparison between awt and swing the question may be asked also in exam uh, like uh, compare awt and swing the first difference so awt stand for abstract window toolkit awt stand for abstract window toolkit while swing there is no full form of swing swing is a part of oracle java foundation class is as discussed earlier java foundation class is a gui based framework so swing component is a part of this java foundation classes <clears throat> next if you want to use awt then java.awt package is used 
while if you want to use uh, gui base uh, if you want to implement gui base application in java with the use of swing so java x dot swing package is used so if you want to use swing functionality in your in java then java x dot swing package is used once you import this swing package java x dot swings so whatever uh, classes that define in swing packages whatever components that define in that swing package you can easily use in your code so basic uh, uh, for a swing application java x dot swing package is used while awt java dot awt package is used next awt components are os dependent while swing components are os independent swing components are os independent while awt components are os dependent so if you want to implement any component then request first send to the system or os or oh, let's say for example if you want with the use of awt if you want to implement some label control if you want to use uh, implement text box control so that text box is called a window text box if you want to implement drop down list for other os operating system then that drop down list is called a components of that other operating system let's say for mac os so it is a os dependent while swing components are os independent so while swing component is called os independent that means platform independent because the components swing components are purely written in java swing components are purely written in java while awt components are not written in java so that's why whenever you put some controls like text box or button in awt then request goes to the os once you drag the text box once you implement a text box in a awt then that text box is called a window text box if you are working in mac os and if you want to implement text box then that text box is called a mac text box but while in swing that is os independent swing components are os independent because all the components that are placed in swing are a purely written in a java programming language so due to that components are purely written in java the swing components are lightweight and easily load the swing components are lightweight while awt components are heavy weight the next awt components will load very slowly while swing components will load very quickly so awt components are heavy weight due to the uh, it will use the uh, system resources it will use also operating system resources that's why it will take more time to load that controls <coughs> next platform dependent gui toolkits so awt toolkits are a platform dependence while swing plate uh, swing uh, gui toolkits are a platform independent next loop and fill change according to the operating system so in awt loop and fill change according to the operating system loop and fill means uh, appearance and behavior of the components so if you want to change uh, loop and fill remains constant in swing so if you if you want to change loop and fill remain constant if you want to change it can be done using this classes this method set lock and fill method so we in also swing components you can change look and fill with the use of this predefined methods with the use of different kind of methods
AWT does not support pluggable look and feel. Now, pluggable look and feel means what? So, Swing support pluggable look and feel. Now, what is pluggable look and feel? So, allowing Swing, allowing to change the look and feel of the graphical user interface at runtime. So, at that runtime, you can modify the components with the user runtime putting, inputting some value. You can change the appearance as well as behavior of the components. While AWT does not support pluggable look and feel. So look and feel of the components is controlled by OS rather than AWT. Next. AWT provide less components than Swing. While Swing components provide more powerful components such as tables, slates, scroll pens, color chooser, tab pen, etc. So it has a swing component, swing co uh, package has wide uh, range of the components. So there are useful controls as compared to the AWT. The swing provide lots of useful controls as compared to the AWT and wide range of components are available in swing packages. Next, AWT does not suppose MVC pattern. MVC means model view controller. So it is an architecture pattern. So swing support MVC for patterns. Swing support MVC pattern while AWT does not support MVC pattern. So MVC pattern, once you follow the, it is an architecture uh, style. So once you implement a MVC pattern architecture, once you implement MVC architecture, so number of advantage of it as compared to the basic structure. So in swing, you can uh, swing support MVC pattern. So you can will you will get advantage of this MVC architecture also. While AWT does not support MVC pattern. Next, it occupies more memory space because of the system resources are used. If you want to implement any controls, then first request goes to the system. So it will occupy more memory space as compared to the AWT, as compared to the swing. While swing occupies less memory space because all the components in a swing, uh, all the components purely implemented in the Java languages. Next, AWT components are button, canvas, checkbox, choice, dialog, file dialog, frame, label, list. These are the example of AWT components. This kind of components are available in AWT packages, while in Swing components, J button, J panel, J label, J checkbox, J combo number, J dialog, J file chooser, J frame, J label, J list. These are the components available in AW uh, Swing packages. So this is these are the difference between AWT and Swing. Now Swing features. What are the features? So almost we already covered the lots of features while uh, comparing AWT and Swing. So you can take a point from these uh, comparisons and you can easily write a features for the Swing. The first one, platform independent. Platform independent. The Swing components are used to build the program are not platform specific. It can be used on any platform and anywhere. So first feature is platform independent. Second, lightweight. The swing components are OS independent and purely written in Java. So it is a lightweight and quickly load. That already discussed while comparing AWT and swing. So as I told, Whatever uh, point we discuss in a comparison between AWT and Swing, so that point you can consider as a features of the Swing 
components, uh, swing packages. Then reach controls. The swing provide reach set of advanced controls. So in swing, there are some advanced controls are used that simplified your applications like tree, tab pen, slider, color picker, and table controls. These are the reach controls available in a swing component. Then highly customizable. The swing controls can be customized in a very easy way as visual appearance is independent of internal representation. So highly customizable. The next pluggable look and feel. Pluggable look and feel. That means what runtime you can with the importing some value, you can change behavior as well as appear appearance of that controls. The swing based UI application look and feel can be changed at runtime based on available values. And look and feel of this component is controlled by swing rather than operating system. The next it supports embedded pattern. So is again architecture. Architecture pattern MVC model view controllers. So as I told MVC architecture has number of advantages over simple basic architecture. So swing support this MVC patterns. These are the some example of swing components J button, J combo box, J label, J menu. Now in next lecture, we will discuss how to practically implement this swing components in a Java code. So in next lecture, practically we will discuss and we I will demonstrate how to write a Java code, how to implement the swing components with the use of simple Java programming languages and how to able how to how can we able to create a GUI based application in Java.